Okay. This has been in your family for quite some time. I mean, what are you feeling today, John? A shock. Yeah. Yep. I, total shock. You said uh, business, it started by your grandfather back in 1958, is Correct. that? Correct. Ed Sosnowski. Okay. Can you talk to us? Obviously, you found out yesterday. What Did you get a phone call or where? what happened? I saw it on Facebook at about 6.30 in the morning. And a picture of my semis with an explosion coming out of the back. What was going through your head the first thing when you... Put my shoes on and I went directly there. Yeah, so what's next for you, Joe? What's next for me? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not answering that one right now. I don't know. I just have no clue yet. Yeah. So. And you've obviously talked to employees in there. Um, I guess go sign up for unemployment and start looking for a job. That's what's next. Nice. That's the And there was a couple of employee agencies in South Carolina. Yeah. There's lots of help. The community's been coming out to help us. So, so Joe, it's uh, yourself, and are there two other brothers that, that help run? My father and my uncle uh, own it. I work for them. Okay, and, and how are they doing inside? I know that, that you know, emotions, obviously. It's hard on all of us. So emotions are high, for sure. Can you talk to us? Uh, what's the toughest part? Is it just that this has been, you know, obviously in the family for so long? Hard to see something that you guys have built up over some years? What's that? And then the, the people we work with are family as well. I've got employees that have been there from anywhere from 10 to 40 years. The average time most of them have spent there, if you average it all out, is 30. So it's a family, and uh, it's hard to come to terms that, you know, I'm not going to go see them. <laughs> no place to go.